Hi everyone. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Wherever you are, my name is Pankaj Dingra, and as you all know me by now, I am a proud Fintrammer. Welcome, guys. Welcome to another episode of Fintram ACCA Success Stories. आज हम एक और सक्सेस स्टोरी के साथ आए हैं वेर एन वी वुड वॉन्ट टू शेयर कि ए सी सी ए पार्ट क्वालिफाइड करने के बाद क्या जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज है बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट एनरोल होने से पहले भी और बाद में भी ये चीज पूछते हैं कि सर अगर हम पार्ट क्वालिफाई होते हैं तो क्या मार्केट हमें रिकग्नाइज करती है क्या हमें ऐसी कोई जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटी अवेलेबल है एंड दैट इज द रीजन माय फ्रेंड आई एम हियर बिकॉज़ आई हैव टुडे एन एस्टीम गेस्ट अवेलेबल फॉर यू हु गॉट द जॉब इवन बिफोर क्वालिफाइंग हिज एसीसीए यस और नाइन एग्जाम्स ही नहीं उन्होंने सिर्फ एक एग्जाम क्लियर किया अपने स्किल लेवल का और उन्हें जॉब मिल गई वो भी बिग फोर में that makes it all the more important for us my friend to really understand from him as to what he did the way he did and of course aisa kya hai jo hamare liye janna zaruri hai to get these kind of jobs na ki qualify karne ke baad but qualify karne se pehle bhi to chale baat kare yes i have rishan available with me today who will take you through his journey and tell you as to what has he done the way he has done so should we go to rishan yes sir Hi Rishan welcome thanks for joining us thanks for joining the ACC fraternity many thanks for that my pleasure i'm glad to be here and share inputs thank you so Rishan why don't we start off with your introduction first i have spoken something about it but i'm pretty sure that i would not have done justice to it so why not you know it coming out straight from your mouth sure my name is Rishan and i'm working as a senior auditor in EY Bangalore and i'm working here for the past 3 uh, years that's and about me how about how about your journey uh, rishan why don't you, you know really start off where did you started off with and you know what have you been into and so on and so forth and then i have so many questions to ask you around it sure 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 so it was during my schooling days i think uh, i was in 8th and i was looking at those job vacancies or job openings in one of the newspapers i was doing my schooling in dubai so this job opening said uh, chartered accountant needed and the salaries were huge so that's when uh, initially that thought of it instilled in me and then uh, i started researching about it during eighth itself but i was not into it i was not knowing so much then uh, i continued my schooling and i did uh, 12th but then i was i stopped uh, researching much about uh, ca then then i took bcom uh, so it was in the second year i thought i should do something more because during one of the economics classes so one of the professors said the world is getting more and more competitive Uh, so it's going to be the survival of the fittest so even in the job market that's going to be happening because i've been seeing this uh, job uh, openings in few of the newspapers then and a uh, uh, lot of unemployability these things were coming up so that's when i decided that uh, just by graduation there is nothing uh, going to happen i need to do something more that's when i started researching more and then uh, three options came up uh, definitely ca acca and cpa so obviously i was in my second year of bcom so i had uh, already started the bcom so i've already done one year of it so i want i was looking for actual flexibility so that's the reason i thought i would do acca also then i thought anyway i've started with my bcom i should complete it first and then i'll join for it that's why i started my acca all right so hum thoda sa na ab thoda sa dheere se rewind karenge because you know for us it is all the more important to really understand how did you started so you mentioned rishan aapne jo apni schooling kari wo uh, dubai se kari mm. and at that point in time you somewhere decided that uh, uh, you know there is something more to do there is something more to add and finally you were not 100% but you made up your mind to an extent that koi to professional course ab karna hi hai yes and then finally you when you completed your class 12th is that the time when you started off your uh, acc or you started after your 12th or oh, after you no after 12th also i was not uh, very much sure about it i joined bcom because that's what okay. everyone does 
yes <laughs> not so ideally i wanted to do something uh, which related to accounts and finance so my initial plan was that i'll first do bcom and then mcom and i'll uh, go abroad to do some mba or some other course so then it was in my second year of bcom i decided that uh, no that i should do something more challenging so this career options come when during your accounts classes and economics classes your lecturers come and give you options what you should do next so rather than doing um, an mcom you should do something more so that's when uh, it uh, actually moved so, me so when did you started your acca then you know after after graduation after graduation yes i moved to oh. bangalore after graduation i moved to bangalore and then i started acca there so where are you basically from dubai uh, bangalore no yeah. basically i am from kerala oh okay okay god's own country right yes <laughs> <laughs> all right so you you went to dubai for for schooling then you came back to uh, you know of course bangalore to complete your graduation and then you started off with your acca no i did my uh, bcom in kerala itself okay. then i moved to bangalore okay sorry for confusion got it so <laughs> bcom from kerala and then you moved on to uh, bangalore for doing your acca yes okay good so uh, you know you spoke you know for a for a um, for a moment on the on your decision of choosing acca out of ca out of cpa out of acca so uh, help me uh, understand more and let's talk more on that that what really made you really get on to this decision of doing acca you spoke about flexibility speak more on that i think student would love to understand more about it in terms of you know how to choose because this is i can tell you this is one of the prominent and the most most uh, i would say important question that students always have who especially for the ones who have the opportunity of all the three courses that you know which one is better kaun sa karna chahiye sir cpa kare acca kare ca kare sir koi ek batao jo hamare liye long term mein you know hame fayda de and and so on so forth so i think this is one of the important question for us to understand ki aap you know how did you uh, arrive on this decision that was one of the most confusing decisions for me as well to take because all the courses were equally recognized and respected and it all increases your uh, you know employability so but then uh, i had to look for options because i have already completed one year post my 12th grade so then uh, if i was about to go for ca then i had to uh, get a direct entry and then do 3 years out of article ship so obviously like most of the gen z would prefer not to take that much time if uh, i was a bit serious about it a bit more i would have joined for ca itself after 12th i would have definitely taken ca but then i've already started bcom then i wanted flexibility i wanted to work as well after bcom so that's when i started looking with jobs and then i started looking for a uh, a course that enhances my employability as well so that's when uh, acc and cpa came up so ca was not an option because i've already done uh, bcom so i didn't want to uh, go to ca and then do the article ship first uh, so that time when some financial needs also you would also like uh, once you are graduated you would feel like you want to start earning something so that's what a thought that uh, in the inject you uh, soon after your graduation your lecture has come and that's exactly when i decided that i should do either acc or cpa because i was more interested in the uk uh, thing because in uh, indian ca as well few of the stand standards are adopted from uh, the ifrs uh, gap as well so that's when i thought i would do acca because uh, european region even i was well i was planning to settle abroad so then i thought uh, it's flexible as well i'll come to flexibility uh, because definitely in ca you had to write uh, in group but in acca you can decide how many papers you want to write so i was planning to uh, work and then study so i need to balance this so uh, in order to take this both together i thought acca would work because i can uh, write it in quarters each quarter and i can decide the combination of papers so i can plan it in a very strategic manner so that's when i decided i would do acca but cpa uh, had only four papers why i did not do cp because if it was a quite expensive a bit expensive but now i think they have centers across india so then i something drawn me towards acc that's what i took yes so if i <clears throat> if i have to circle around on one of the prominent prominent reasons of you choosing out acc one was of course the uh, 
the intention to go abroad in terms of uh, your outreach becoming more global because if you have something like this with you uh, which is a global qualification your outreach increases the second piece is the flexibility that you you know you really wanted to have because over here giving exam becomes easier as compared to any other profession because you have more flexibility and third piece was something that you mentioned about the cost which is like cost mm-hmm. as compared to cpa was less and so on and so forth but speak more on flexibility rishan you know how how should student understand this flexibility so once you join after bcom you would probably get four papers exempted there are few colleges also that uh, provide courses which give nine papers exemption so you need to choose the easiest path because time is money because <laughs> because i would i would come to that because i really uh, had a very thoughtful idea about it okay so uh, talking about flexibility it's uh, definitely because the combination of papers you can write and you can choose to write when to write which paper so obviously you will get four papers exempted you are uh, just done at graduation a bcom if you are doing you will get four papers exempted after that you can choose to write which paper to start and when to write because you have quarterly exams so yes. four times you can write also you can choose one one paper one by one you can write it so you can easily focus on one one papers that's the reason uh, i said flexibility also once you get as you keep doing it you will get to know how to write more papers not just one then you just uh, try to slightly increase the number by one or you can two and then three you, you can even uh, there are people who write three papers and clear all so it's actually about our mindset also we uh, should definitely uh, take much use of this flexibility and plan accordingly so effectively you know flexibility became one of the major reason and and to the students this is something which you should certainly understand that one of the biggest biggest benefit of of acca is that it is so flexible you can exactly. give one exam at a time you can choose when you want to give that exam there is no group system and so on and so forth which makes your life very easy in comparison to any other professional course because hame wahan pe har paper mein 40 leke aana hai total mein 50 leke aana hai and what not wo problem yahan pe khatam ho jati hai the other point which which is uh, which is something to really relish is and i personally feel you know many of the students really got benefited out of it is that uh, acc organizes exams from home so irrespective of you know any situation you are in you know it becomes all the more easier for you to really appear for your exam because ab aapne exam dene ke liye bahar nahi jana hai aap ghar pe hi of course remote proctoring ke zariye exam de sakte hain so aapka career jo hai due to any unforeseen circumstance jo hum sab ne dekha hai is uh, you know you know corona time pe wherein many of the exams got postponed ya nahi hue and so on and so forth in this era also acc becomes a very 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 uh, soothing uh, profession to be in because aapka journey in terms of progression rukti nahi hai aap at least usme progress karte rehte hain which is something to to really relish on coming on to rishan you in terms of you know uh, one thing that i really uh, you know, when we were like chatting on 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 this one thing that really came to came to me was that you got your job even before completing your acc अभी एसी से कंप्लीट नहीं हुई आपको जॉब मिल गई उसके बारे में थोड़ा रोशनी डालो कि वो कैसे हुआ किस तरह की जॉब मिली कहाँ मिली एंड सो ऑन सो फोर्थ वो तो तुमको बिल्कुल जानना ही जानना है बिकॉज अरे क्वालिफिकेशन से पहले जॉब मिल गई सर कैसे मिली कहाँ मिली जल्दी से बताओ सो यू नो ऑल द मोर रिशान बी रियली वुड लव टू नो दैट डेफिनेटली एस यू सेड टॉकिंग अबाउट द फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी फॉर गॉट मैं रिमोट बेस्ड एग्जाम आई थिंक एसी मेड रियली गुड ट्रांसिशन टू दिस adoption of this kind of things in this such kind of scenarios they have adapted well to such situations so then talking about my uh, my job how i got into ey because as i told earlier i was actually planning to work and then study and i started acc first because it's not very easy to get a job in a big firm otherwise you would get other kind of jobs you can uh, work as a customer executive and all but you wanted this kind of job only that's the reason i started looking for a big firm opening then uh, the first paper i did was uh, adv- uh, auditing and assurance uh, which was f8 earlier now it's double a then uh, i started looking for jobs but uh, kept on applying in all the big firms but none of them gave me a response but then later i came to know that there is a walk in going on in big uh, in ey one of the big firms and uh, i went for it and it, it's just because i've started my acca that increased my chances of getting hired 
because I've already started auditing and assurance. That's why the, there is importance that people need to understand why ACCA increases your chance of getting employed, how it makes you a desirable candidate. So when I went for the interview, uh, it was tough because most of them who came for the interview had already completed nine papers. But in my case, I've just completed one paper, though it was a really important paper, but I just completed one paper after the exemptions. So in the interview, it was quite tough because few of them had already completed nine papers as part of their graduation. So they have got nine paper exemptions. And uh, so it was, they had just, I think, two rounds less, lesser than me. And they were qualified people also. So during the interview also, it uh, really helped me with the uh, fact that I did uh, F8 because few of the questions which were asked from directly from the F8 paper. So Rishan, you are saying that you have four exemptions B BCOM and you have only four exemptions and you have only one exam and you have a job on that basis? Yes. Because uh, I was able to convince them that I'm into it because F8 is quite a lot of paper for a few of them. Uh, I don't know, people find it difficult to clear. And I think that's one of the uh, papers with the lesser passing percentage, isn't it? So that's why I was able to convince them. And many of the auditing questions, there were technical rounds where uh, there were two rounds. One was entirely for accounting questions and the other was for auditing questions. So in auditing, whatever auditing questions they were asked, it just came from the F8 <laughs> textbook. Whatever I've learned, I've just completed F8. Also accounts, have, we have already completed BCom. So accounts were also, I was able to answer those as well. Which is awesome. Well, I'm, 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 I don't know any, any case I have seen wherein you have got by just clearing one exam, which is something, you know, I would, I would say it's a news to me too, but Rishan ho gaya, job mil gai. Ek paper clear kya tha, uske base pe job mil gai. Ab, ab to Rishan ko baaki saare paper clear karne hai. Ab to Rishan ko kaam bhi karna hai. Ab to EY mein job bhi shuru ho gai. Ab to job bhi karni hai. Aur saath mein exam dene hai. How was that journey? It was my dream job actually. So I couldn't give up anything. So, so uh, why I got this job is, was because I was pursuing SCCA. So I had to complete it. Also, uh, as I told earlier, why it helps you a lot if you're working and studying together. More, many people have another perspective about it when it comes to working and studying. People say they don't get time and all. But I think this uh, in particular uh, to ACCA, this helped me a lot. So because I did F8 paper and I was able to convince uh, them that uh, I will be completing this, I'm pursuing this, I'm really into it. That's why I've chosen assurance also because there were openings in assurance and other advisory and all. But I chose assurance and I had the paper required for it. So there were other people also who had done BCom, uh, and they have taken exemptions that they said that we are going to start, but they, many of them they did not get selected. So I think I was kind of an exceptional case and people were really amazed to know this. So once even I got I'm, recruited, even I'm amazed, let me tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody was amazed to know that because people were asking me, they just consider people with nine papers. How did you get in with just one paper, man? So because it happens in the interview, how you express your skill, how you express your desire for it and how yeah, you were saying. No, I think you are bang on that. You know, it, it really depends. And that's why I always say that, you know, it's not only the degree that matters in life. It is also about, you know, how are you able to articulate, communicate, get across, mm -hmm. get to the mind of the interviewer and so on and so forth. So we do various things on, the, you know, in this regard with our students, uh, um, uh, Rishan, in terms of, you know, telling them as to how they should be thinking about. And one of the important aspect about this is that due to this, due to all of these things, getting job becomes a hell lot easier. But one thing that you, one should really not forget, and student, this is specifically for you. Rishan is an exception. Of course, he's an exception in terms of getting a job after clearing one paper. But all I can tell you is that this is one of the course where you have a job opportunities available. Ho hai, nine papers clear. Kar, clear karne ke baad. Exactly. Exactly. Jo, 
बहुत सारे और कोर्सेज में नहीं मिलते हैं बिकॉज यहाँ पे आप प्रोफेशनल लेवल पे जब जाते हैं और आखिरी के चार पेपर आपको देने होते हैं उससे पहले आप स्किल और नॉलेज लेवल के काफी सारे पेपर क्लियर कर चुके होते हो जिसकी रिकग्निशन मार्केट देती है इंडस्ट्री देती है दे रिकग्नाइज दैट यू हैव रियली गॉन अप इन द जर्नी एंड दे रिकग्नाइज यू एज द पार्ट क्वालिफाइड ए सी सी एंड दे वेलकम यू ऑन टू द बोर्ड इन टर्म्स ऑफ यू नो रियली ज्वाइनिंग दम इन द अकाउंटिंग रिपोर्टिंग कंप्लाइंस ऑडिट एश्योरेंस एंड वॉट नॉट in all of these fields so which is something very welcoming in terms of you know you really getting those opportunities at large yeah because i remember those days when i was going for this walk in interview people already demotivated me saying uh, there is no chance you're going to get it because they just considered people with nine papers so i it was like i will get an experience of it anyway i'll just see what how things are working there at least even if i'm getting out in the very very first round i'll have that experience i just want to get in the compound of a big four <laughs> because i was so that's how uh, i wanted to get into a big four i kept on uh, applying also but they rejected me for this reason that i have not done nine papers if i had completed nine papers i would have definitely got a call much earlier true so yeah that's how i got into it and then i was able to convince also because uh, this was one of the toughest papers in f level if you find it uh, difficult to clear so many of them uh, flunk in 14 and that's one of the very painful thing uh, mm-hmm. so this experience is also i was able to convince them actually acha re acha rejan thoda sa isse aage chale agar hum aur is bare mein baat kare ki ab aap ey ke andar aa gaye now i'll have to make a very strategic plan how to uh, take this both forward but then the fact that i got in is what actually helped me because when you get inside you see many people who are already qualified and how well they are doing in their careers uh, how they are getting promoted what are the career options and all so once i got in i really first started uh, investing time into learning what the work is because i should not make it uh, detrimental to the interest of my team because of my studies so initially i did not uh, write exam right away as soon as i got in uh the first attempt i did not write but uh, after the first attempt i started uh, writing so i think i joined in yeah i joined in december i did not write in march i wrote in june so by then i understood how things work here and i learned how to plan things because there were many people there who guided me how to plan your things also uh, uh, in march few people very few people right because of the busy season we have no one uh, writes it no one takes that risk but uh, very few people uh, write it and when they clear it when you hear the news about it from the floor that's what motivates you a lot you see they are working here uh, during the busy season they have given this paper and they are clearing it many of them are doing it why can't i that's when i decided that i should uh, look for options to write in march as well but that's really difficult to write uh, don't try that if you are uh, working in a big firm but th- that's also like if you are so Passionate. so much prepared for it you can do it and that i joined as a yeah sorry sorry dear tell me you know when which year you joined ey as in um, uh, it was 2017 december 17 december so effectively 2018 start and when did you finish your uh, acca uh, 2020 december i gave my last paper in 2020 920 so effectively 3 years for completing the uh, you know rest of 8 uh, exams yes oh okay okay no that's that's great because effectively you would have been what you'll be like you know you did your graduation so maybe 23 24 years old in terms of you know being a qualified acc and having and you would have straight away become a member right because you had that 3 yes. years of experience till that point in time since it's since it is benefit yes yeah Oh yes, awesome it is then. Yeah, you know, and the main how, thing. yeah, exactly. And how was the feeling? You know, how did your dad and mom and you know what were the feeling and what was the feeling in the house? That was uh, I don't know how to describe it. I was uh, in Bangalore, so our results come at five. So my oh, yes. dad was in Dubai. He was sleeping. It was three thirty there. I called him and I screamed. <laughs> I mean, I just completed it. He was so happy. He he. I think he just dozed off. but he had to wake up and tell all of his friends in his room and then i called my mom also it was uh, a very early morning my mom does not sleep when uh, my results come she always expects me to call so she was also relieved a lot i was feeling so ecstatic uh, i don't know how to explain that it's it's such a great feeling 
I understand that. And, uh, uh, you know, nobody can, uh, can really forget that day and forget that moment when you get mm-hmm. qualified and, you know, you have to tell all the world that, you know, yes, this is what I have achieved. And, you know, you feel that you are in the, in the, you know, on the, on the seventh moon in terms of, you know, <laughs> the achievement that you have had and so on and so forth. So I can, I can completely correlate to that. But Rishan, tell me, now I'm again like switching on gears, but tell me, how does that change your uh, pedigree in EY? You didn't have ACCA before, you didn't do ACCA before, you didn't join EY. And over a period of time, you worked, 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 and you, you know, within two and a half, three years, you have ACCA qualified. Now you are in EY, mein hiyo, but... Does that really change to your, your positioning, your pedigree within EY in terms of the recognition and the, you know, the every other things that, that you really look for in, in an organization? Definitely, yes. Uh, that's how I got promoted. And uh, also, uh, if you're qualified, you get a higher package. Yes. So uh, all the big fours, they really uh, recognize your uh, professional qualification and then uh, they pay you at a premium. Hmm. They pay you uh, like like other benefits. Among other benefits, you will get promoted as well. Because I've just completed, I've been a lead associate in 2020. And I was also due for promotion. So uh, during then, uh, I qualified ACC as well. The, so that's what strengthened more in my uh, promotion. So that was a point that really gave me a promotion. Also, there was a very huge leap in my package as well. Which is very, 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 um, I would say, you know, awesome to talk. To hear in terms of you know what you really got that point in time because that's what every person would look at you know जो भी बच्चा पढ़ रहा है और और बढ़ रहा है इस तरफ की मुझे qualification मिल जाए और वो मिलते you know it results into the into the right recognition by the organization then what else you would want you know that's that's something everybody looks for and that's something everybody aspire for निशान ये भी हो गया you know growth भी हो गई and of course you know you got promoted and so on so forth now if you really look back and if I have to ask you, was this your right decision? You know, do you think that definitely what... yes. That was the best decision I've taken for my career. Uh, <laughs> I was thinking I should have taken it much earlier, uh, soon after twelfth, uh, rather than doing BCom. I should have definitely gone for uh, the first four papers, like not taking exemptions. I would have cleared a bit earlier, and then I would have been uh, joining another big four. I would have progressed much in my career now. So I'm... I w- I'm thinking now, why did I not do it earlier? True. And that is one of the reasons, friends, you would have seen. And there are many videos that we have done of the success stories like we are doing with Rishan, wherein students started pursuing this from class 11th and 12th. And this is one of the few courses that is available in India, wherein you class 11th or 12th with the ACCA. And you can qualify for your graduation before you qualify for your Which is something great and something really awesome to really have. Because... Uh, you know, till the time you're getting graduated, if you are having a professional degree in your hand, it really changes your pedigree and your starting point in comparison to any of the competitors and any of your friends that you may have, which is something to relish and which is something that will be really helpful from the longer term standpoint. And I can tell you one thing, there are many students who reach out to us in class 11th and 12th to get yourself registered. And we can proudly say we as Fentram can really help you. In, and support you in that journey. We can really help you get registered at right point in time. We, are, we can also help you in terms of, you know, getting the right mentors from the industry, like, you know, Rishan, who we are talking to at this point in time. We can, of course, help you in terms of, you know, getting the right coaching, right mentoring and whatnot. And of course, job opportunity is something that, you know, we have our 100% support available for our students in terms of, you know, really they getting the really real, real support in terms of, you know, getting the visibility from the market so that we can really explore on. So that is again something for you to really explore on. I'll give you the details, of course, in this video, in the description box, you can reach out to us in case you have any doubts. You know, there are exemptions available to BCom students. That is again, something that we can help out with. There are exemptions available for CA inter students, CA final students, you know, you can again reach out to us. We'll be more than happy to support you on this. Coming on to Dishan, you know, I have one last question for you and, you know, uh, while it is a last question, Rishan, let me tell you, I'm not going to, you know, spare you, uh, but, you know, only, uh, you know, by this interview, we will be reaching out to you and requesting you for many more such conversations so that, you know, you can, you can really spare out some time and be there for the fraternity for them to really be guided by you. You know, that, that is something I would say the least a professional should do 
uh, you know, for the upcoming budding ACCAs or budding professionals. So I would, I would relish to have you at various other occasions too. Sure. The last question I have, you know, Rishan, for you is that what is, what is that that you would like to mention to our students? You know, what are the last words or last guiding words that you would have for the students in terms of how should they be thinking about ACCA if they have to really plan for it? What I would say uh, first is time is money. Don't waste your time. Don't uh, skip your attempts because ACCA is a course that can make you lazy as well if you're not determined enough because you would think I can write it later. You will keep on skipping attempts. Don't do that. Do, even if you're not prepared well, you need to change your tactic. So you have, might have made a strategic planning, but uh, you need to make some tactical plannings as well to accommodate the time shortages. So if there is a time crunch, you should definitely plan it in such a way to cover all the uh, uh, topics and do enough revision kits. Don't underestimate a revision kit because that is what helped me a lot. Um, also, if you're getting a, uh, an opportunity to work and study, take that, go for it. Because uh, from there, you will hear stories of people and you will see how people are doing well. Because in ACCA, what I've seen is people progressing really well because when... So during the result day, it's really a celebrity mood in the office. You should see the people out there celebrating a lot, uh, distributing chocolates. You should see the happiness on their faces. That's when you also feel that I also want this day in my life. So that's when that's also something that motivates you in uh, progressing further. Also, the career opportunities, even EY itself, the Big Four itself offers them like uh, promotions, they, uh, promotions, a premium salary and uh, other, even if you are planning to go abroad, there are secondment opportunities in Big Four. If you're working in India, you don't worry about that. You will be uh, going to ab abroad destinations or whichever sector you're working on. So there are secondment opportunities as well. So definitely don't uh, just make use of the time. And if there comes a opportunity to take up a job, definitely go for it. Very right. And one thing that you that you briefly pointed out, Rishan, which I would like to extend, you pointed out on revision kit, you know, one thing I really want to highlight that, and this is for your knowledge also, Rishan, in case you are not aware of it, you know, Fintram Global really offers one specific, specific product in relation to it. We call it our revision bootcamp. Now, what is this revision bootcamp? The revision Bootcamp offers you one, of course, the quick revision of the key examinable concepts of the syllabus areas that you really need to know. That's the first piece of it. The second piece of it is it offers you the video quotient marathon. Now, what the team has done is they have really collated the, the concept questions, the, the comprehensive questions, the past examination questions, and put that into the kit wherein the faculty comes on board and he solves those questions, giving all the tips and tricks that you really need from the standpoint of understanding how can you do well in the exam. Now, this comes free, uh, uh, you know, with our full course, you know, in, in, in at various times, like it is going free right now at this point in time, wherein if you buy the course, this revision bootcamp is coming free of cost at this point in time. Now, this revision bootcamp, of course, can be bought alone, you know, wherein if you have studied at your own, you can, bought this, you can buy this revision camp, bootcamp and, you know, can have, practice the questions because question practice in terms of how examiner asks questions, as Rishan was saying, is super important because the more you'll practice question, the better you are in a situation in terms of handling that in the exam. And that is the reason exactly. this specific revision bootcamp is being made, you know, just to give student a more uh, a live experience of those questions so that he can handle that or she can handle that in the exam. So Rishan just wanted you to at least be aware of so that at least it has, you know, in your mind. Sure. That was it, Rishan. I think I had, uh, you know, and of course, thanks for, you know, really extending your time. I think we are above five minutes in terms of, you know, what time we really asked for. But thank you very much for your time. It was a pleasure having you on board. And of course, you know, don't, uh, as I said, don't really think that this is the end of the road. We would be calling you on the various, you know, in the various um, forums, you know, for to be with us and of course, guide our students. My pleasure. Anytime. Thank you very much, Rishan. Look forward. Hmm. Seems you are liking the video. If yes, then why don't you subscribe to our channel Fintram Global to keep getting all these videos and the updates. Do press the like button my friend. It really motivates us and share it with all your friends. Mm -hmm.